Good afternoon, YouTube. Hey guys, today on the Sleep of the Real, we're going to be talking about how to calibrate your Ultrex uh, system. So if you have an Ultrex, you want to get it paired, you want to get it calibrated, talk about how to do that. So mine, I've had mine for, I guess, almost three years now, and I've calibrated it the first time, and it seems to, now that I've put the new lithium batteries on there, it seems to go a little haywire. So I'm going to recalibrate that today. Uh, I'll show you how to pair it. I'm already paired. I don't need to do that show you how to pair it but i'm gonna recalibrate that thing see if it helps out a little bit on uh on well it keeps me within a 20 foot circle right now so <laughs> with the, through the years with the uh, disconnections and batteries and change of batteries and everything else uh, i'm afraid that it, it has gone a little crazy and it's probably not calibrated to where it should be so we're gonna go ahead and do it again it's probably a good thing to do your calibration once a year in my opinion but y'all stay stay with me what you'll need in advance your remote. I'm sure there's a way to do it without a remote, but we're going to find out. Um, I'll research that and let you know at the end of this video, but you do need your remote to do this in uh, about three, four, five minutes. So y'all stay tuned. First thing you need to do is go to your Ultrex and press the pair button, which is right here. Okay, now mine is holding me in place right now, but that's going to change here in just a minute. And then you'll need to, I have to go to the back of my boat, go to the puck, and push this button here. I'm using the other deal, hit the flashing button right there. Uh, once it goes and, and pairs up, you'll see how it's just flashing every once in a while right now. Um, there it is, probably every five seconds. So I believe it flashes a lot faster. Let me stop this. I believe, it, I believe it flashes a lot faster when it's not paired, and once it gets paired, it will just pop on periodically. Um, so once again, I don't have to pair mine, so let's get to the calibration of the unit itself. So guys, if you look here at the remote, at the very bottom right here where my thumb is, it will say cancel. What you're going to do is hit this down button here until you find there's lock, and we're going to go to system. All right, we're going to hit the check mark here. We're going to scroll down to, in fact, update software. I've never in my life done that. That might be something I need to do. Uh, if you're going to pair the system, that's where you go. That's part of the thing I was talking about a minute ago. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go down to sensor cal. So at that point, we're going to hit the good uh hit the wrong button let's try that again so cancel lock system uh check i'm gonna go to sensor cal hit the check mark right there okay cannot start calibration navigate it's in mode so let me take spot lock off okay let's try that again we'll go ahead and hit back and sensor cal I'm going to hit it, press start. Now what's going to happen is my trolley motor, I'm going to turn sideways. So let me go ahead and scoot over here. So I'm going to turn it sideways. And basically we're going to be going sideways until it tells us to stop. So watch this right here. So start and hit go. Oop. There we go. All right, drive in two complete circles. So let me turn me down to about three on my trolley motor and I'm just going to go in two complete circles and as I go watch that little 
There it goes. There's part of it done. All right, guys, so we're done now. Uh, we've used this. Uh, I'm not gonna turn it off. I never, ever use this thing. I had to go look for it today. So I'm gonna figure out if we can uh, do this without the remote, because I, I guarantee you some people aren't using their remotes. That is the way you do your spot lock. That is the way you uh, calibrate spot lock. It has worked great for me. Uh, when I started this about, or when I realized I probably need to calibrate, I was in Tennessee, as I said earlier, and i mean literally it was taking me all over the place especially with these new lithium batteries it had gusto it was amazing um and i was like dude i gotta i gotta get in here and calibrate this thing so we did that today and i'm really i feel like i'm in the same spot i'm, I'm not i don't feel the boat moving it's just taking its time doing what it's got to do so uh hope that works for you guys i'm gonna figure out real quick on if we can do this without a remote and if i if you can i'll put it on the end of this video if you can't then you won't see anything so thanks for watching i appreciate it let me know in the comments if this helps you guys out i appreciate it y'all have a good day